Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, I plan on changing the belts on my 2013 F-150 with the 5.0. Um, it should be a pretty quick video. It just shows you how easy it is, how you can save like an hour worth of labor of doing it yourself over uh, the dealership or auto mechanic. So if you're interested, please stick around. Um, the belts you're gonna need and this is from my research and if I get into this and I have the wrong ones I'll definitely let you know but um, it is JK6-541-1X um, that's the four number BL3Z8620-D and here's the other one um, JK6-645 and there you have it, BL3Z8620-A. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I started this previously, and uh, I thought I was doing the slick thing, and I went out and I bought a belt stretcher. A um, little background on this, you have two serpentine belts. One has a, um, a tensioner on it. The other one is a stretch to fit belt, and I'll show you which ones are which. So I went and got a stretch belt remover and installer. One side you put on to remove and then you can flip it around and you, that's to install. Well, what you do is you bolt this onto your crank pulley or whichever pulley you're trying to get the belt to ride over and uh, then you, it'll push the belt on. Well, come to find out the, uh, and I'll show you this, the, the uh, crank pulley has a lip that is too wide so when you set this, this magnet holds it on there. When you set it, it doesn't reach far enough over to get the belt to, you know, ride over and get on the pulley. So it was totally worthless. So I had to go back and do a little bit of research. And what I found out and which I find amazing is that you need a zip tie to install the stretch belt. And I'll show you how that works, but uh, that's actually in the Ford manual. So <laughs> go figure, but uh, anyways. Um, the other things you'll need is a breaker bar with a uh, half inch drive um, that's to uh, move the tensioner to relieve the tension on the belt um, so you can get it off and get it on on the other one that is in a stretch belt and then you need a 18 millimeter socket to turn the crank to put the stretch belt on so those are the things you need the two belts you don't need that, so don't spend any money on that. You need a zip tie, and then you need these two. And then I'm going to get a um, something to cut the uh, stretch to fit belt off down there, and um, I'll show you that. And the other thing I'm going to do, and you know, which I did previously, is I am going to take the uh, intake off so I have more light and a better view of what's going on for you. So we'll flip this, and I, I took this off before you got here needless to say so I'm gonna flip it over get it out of the way and uh, we'll go from there but uh, there you go and I might even spray some uh, um, throttle body cleaner in there just because it's getting a little sketchy so anyways that's what we got going on all right there's two layers of belts the outer belts on the crank pulley um, which go to the uh, driver's side of the engine is the stretch to fit belt um the other thing is and i'll show you a little video or a clip of or picture of the belt routing so you know how to uh put them back on when it comes time so um on the other side is the uh, one with the tensioner and the tensioner is a point it's down towards on it's on the other side of the water pump it's over there and I'll show you where that is so you can use it and take off the belt without having to cut anything so um, here I go I'm gonna get down there and cut off that first belt and uh, then we'll proceed to do the other belt with uh, with the tensioner all right from down here you can see that there's a crank pulley and that one goes to this non movable uh, tensioner and then I think that's the water pump pulley and I think it also and I can't see from where I'm laying it also goes over to uh, 
I don't know what that is. Oh, the alternator. So it goes the alternator, the water pump, that, and the, the uh, crank pulley. And if you can see that, hopefully you can see that lip on the uh, crank pulley, and that's what doesn't allow that uh, belt stretcher to work. Um, the other thing that's easier to see out here is the tensioner right there. See where that square uh, opening is? That's where you put the uh, the the uh, breaker bar with the half inch drive on so that you can detension in the uh, belt so you can take it off. So we're going to cut this stretch the fit belt off with uh, my handy dandy sheet metal cutters and then we will uh, the, it's not that hard. What I'm going to have problems with is trying to figure out the best way to uh, shoot this so you can see uh, what I'm doing. So, anyways, here goes. And here goes absolutely nothing. But remember, um, these are supposed to be changed every 100,000 miles, and I got 110 on them. And you saw how tight that was when I cut it. Did <laughs> so imagine trying to just stretch that over everything uh by hand or with a screwdriver i'm going to take that off and um that allows me to get the other belt off which is behind it so we'll get this out and then we'll take a look at it see if it actually needed to be replaced but i'm pretty sure it did and uh we'll go from there it had somewhere but uh it wasn't it doesn't appear to be too too bad you know it's not cracking but it is six years old and it's got 110,000 miles on it. So, um, I just feel better changing it out. So anyway, so there's your stretch belt and here we go. In comparing the links, um, this, the JK6 645 is the, uh, the stretch fit belt. I, you know, I stretch it out and compared the links. Uh, so there you go. Oh, now I'm going to take the other one. I try to make this as easy as possible for you to see, but um, I need to get to that half inch fitting and then take the pressure off of, okay, so, oh shit, it's three eighths, never mind, back to the drawing board. Well, everybody, I'm definitely not going to reshoot the intro. But it ended up that this bolt down here, or the tensioner, is a 3 8 So since I can't find my breaker bar, and I'm a weakling, I went and got this. There we go. All right, so I take the tension off the belt, and then you can just work it off everything else. That's interesting. Okay, I'm going to take it off everything else. And... Then we'll fight that one, but it appears to be stuck between the uh, the non-movable uh, tensioner. All right, I put the socket on there. It's a 13 millimeter. I'm going to take that tensioner off so I can get that belt out. It's wedged right in between there. There's not enough clearance. I guess I could cut it, but I still got to take it off to get the new belt on so I don't damage the belt putting it on. So um, here we go. I'm going to do that, and then I'll show you when I get done. Well, I got it off, and that is a 13 millimeter bolt, and now I can get the belt off, and uh, we can compare it to the other belt to make sure I got the right one. There you go. So I compared the old belt to the new belt that I have, and that is the, for the main serpentine, that is the number, JK6-541-1X or BLZ, BL3Z8620-D. So now I'm going to put it back on and in the video here, I'm going to put that picture of the routing and uh, once I get it back to where I'm almost ready to put it on, I'll, I'll tape it and with me on the, there is the routing for the five liter engine. It, uh, the one on the left has a tensioner and you use a half inch socket. A breaker bar to remove the tension so you can remove it but in order to get that one off you got to get the other belt off first which doesn't which is where that uh, belt stretcher and unstretcher comes into play so 
Let's get to it. All right, I have it routed. Okay, I got it routed around everything except the uh, the top pulley. Um, hopefully, this go around. I can get the uh, tensioner loosened up enough that I can um, get it around this pulley. But uh, okay, so. Okay, I got the tension off that and I got it over the pulley and it came off the bottom one, of course. So, luckily, I can undo it with the help of my giant breaker bar. Get it around there. Come on, help a brother out, comply. It's just not quite on it on there. There we go. All right, I got it. And woohoo! I think we're cooking with gas. And there you go. It wasn't that hard. It's just a uh, little acrobatic trick with uh, the breaker bar and all that. So we got the new back belt on. Thank you, baby Jesus. And now we'll put the front stretch to fit taking a little break it started raining right in the middle of me working on it so as soon as it slows down a little bit I'm almost done I just got to put that damn stretch the fit belt back on so once it slows down I'll go out there and finish all right well it stopped raining I got the uh, tension pulley back on um, then I'm mounting the belt and you're about to see where this fancy dancy uh, zip tie comes into play, but uh, so the the belt itself goes over the water pump pulley um, down and around the uh, generator alternator and Then it comes back around and goes over the uh, The uh, crank pulley so uh, that seems to be the uh, the uh, Achilles heel of getting this all stretched out. So I'm gonna need two hands, but as you can tell, I got it around everything else. I just gotta try and uh, shenagle it around that uh, the crank pulley. So hold on a sec. All right, so I got it all the way around, but the, the trick is now stretching it over the crank pulley. Um, what the uh, Ford manual says is that he uses a zip tie and I'll put that on and then I'll show you. And then um, you should be able to rotate the crank and the, the belt should be pulled onto the pulley. So let's see if it works. All right, so I'm gonna go up on top and try and get this to rotate. And I might have to get out the super duper breaker bar, but uh, we'll see. We will see. All right. I think it's gotta catch one of those braces. So there you go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Don't break. Okay, I got the belt on there. Got the belt on the water pump. Ooh. I think I need a new water pump. Shit. Well, I guess I'll be doing this again. That or I'll kill the belt. See how it's pulling it over? Get this down there. Come on. One more dirt. There we go. There we go. We're on it. Man, the water pump pulley, the water pump has so much movement in it, it's not even funny. So, alright, so you got to see it. Now I gotta find my socket. Son of a biscuit. It just fell. How did I? How is it? So anyways, yeah, now we're going to have a video on replacing the water pump here shortly. Ah, oh, shit. All right. I will go get the uh, dikes and cut the uh, zip tie off and uh, 
Try and find my socket. He only knows where that went. Shit. Well, thanks for watching. I hope this helps some people. Hopefully you can save a few bucks by doing it yourself. Uh, as you can tell, you need some very simple tools. Uh, half inch drive with an 18 millimeter socket, uh, 3 8 drive. And if you have no gap like I did with that uh, non-movable tensioner, um, I think that was a 13 millimeter on a 3 8 and then just a regular old screwdriver and I will post the link below to the belt that I bought through Amazon and uh, and I shot some mass airflow sensor goobage into the uh, um, throttle body so um, and what I discovered during this is that uh, I have my water pumps got a lot of play in it so that'll probably be the next one in the video or the video series of maintenance so um, if you have any questions or if you have anything you want me to show how to do or do because maybe it's the first time I've done it uh, Put it in the comments below and I will definitely do it and tape it. So thanks again for everybody watching I appreciate it and I hopefully I'm helping you out a little bit. Thank you and have a super super day